Hello, 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 and welcome back to Sekiro. Shadows die twice. When last we left off, we started the game and got through some lore fodder and beat the first mini boss. Technically died to the first main boss, although you, you technically can't beat that first boss. So we came over here, beat the first mini boss, and then went over into the next area and got rolled over by some random chump. <laughs> I'm gonna go try and get revenge for that. Uh, mini bosses do not come back, thankfully. Alright, first things first. We're gonna try to do a little better about stealth. Perhaps I can just jump over there, please. Yes, hooray. Alright, appears we have been noticed. It's really nice that this game actually has a pause button. Oh, come on. Okay, so I guess you can't really jump over there. Where is this dude? Now, like I said, if you die, you lose uh, half of your accumulated sen. What is that guy doing? He's just going to sit there, I guess. That's not what I wanted to do. I actually wanted to come over here. And you also lose half of your... Uh... Oh, Shiza. Great. Oh, good, good, good. That's... Wow, okay. I guess we go loud. <sighs> nope. Brett Favre over here. You know that moment where it's like, I haven't played this game in so long. It's like, I totally forget how to do everything. Well, that's how I kind of feel playing this. My goodness, he's still coming after me. Yeah, God help you if you mess something up, because uh, they'll just keep on coming after you. Is he done yet? Nope. Still going. Of course, I I could go and uh, try to kill him. However, I don't know really how successful I would be. All right. Let's hope that that kind of gets him off my tail. I'm going to go get this big guy over here. I'm going to call him the Big Goofy Goomba. Big Goofy Goomba. Oh, he's not there. Where did Top Big Goofy Goomba go? Did he come out? Did, did he come out to play? That's not good. Of all the people you want to be surprised by, you don't want to be surprised by the Big Goofy Goomba. He'll fuck you up. Alright. There is everybody. Okay. Probably want to wait until those guys go by. I'll go ahead and just sort of hide in the grass here. And whoop. <clears throat> I'll see if I can get these guys quietly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Big Goofy Goomba is not a... Oh, I hit him one time and he's dead forever. Pretty sure he comes back with a vengeance. Yep, uh, point in case, there he is. What the hell? Dude, dude, could you just... Ay, ay, ay. 
This has not gone well at all. This isn't really a tough area either. So that's really not a good sign. So how the heck did I not see Big Goofy Goomba? Oops. Probably shouldn't have done that. Nope. We say no to Big Goofy Goomba. I am just awful at these executions now. So the game is supposed to be a bit more finesse than how I'm playing it right now. Probably gonna spend the next 50 minutes just on this one section, just getting pancaked by everything. Yeah, Mr. Big Goofy Goomba, if you could turn the hell around and just pretend I'm not here, that would be great. We're going to pretend that I did that perfectly. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. So with these balloons, uh, if you pop one, boink, and bye-bye. Sweet, and he gives me a health pellet. So if you pop a Mibu Balloon of Wealth, then that raises your item discovery for like five minutes or something. Uh, it's especially useful if you're trying to farm for certain materials. Uh, there is an area later on where that becomes pretty useful. Um, we might actually end up hitting that area in this episode. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pretend that I did that perfectly and on the first try. I'm super impressed with myself. Oh, here's another chicken. Die, chicken. Oh, there's another one. Hi, Mr. Chicken. Buck yeah. Gonna break this. Get a light coin purse, another light coin purse, and another light coin purse. Very nice. I'm also going to talk to this guy. I'm going to drink some tea while that happens. Ugh, that's scalding. Excuse me, I have a cold today. Probably not the noises you want to hear. <clears throat> it's not bronchitis, I swear. You speak very slowly. So we're going to follow his wishes. Ay ay ay. I cannot time this to save my life. Not what I meant to do either. Dang. We're going to be truthful here. <clears throat> そなたは<笑> 
仏様にお供えしておくれ。All right, so now we have the the uh, Lord, young Lord's bell charm. We can actually use that to reach an extra area. Uh, before we move forward, I'm gonna run back over here because there's a merchant up here on this hill. Uh, no, nope, wrong one. Still, still the wrong one. Yikes, dude. I'm normally a lot better at this, but uh, not today, apparently. Haha, -ha. wall jumping. Alright, so some things that we can do with Sen, uh, obviously we can buy things like pellets, antidote powder, uh, ungo sugar, and light coin purses. We can also buy Robert's firecrackers. That's probably the best one that we can buy this early on. Uh, now, you might be wondering, why buy a light coin purse? So we're, we're using money to buy money. Yes, and that's it actually makes sense why you want to do it. This is kind of like depositing money in a bank. Because although it costs 110 to get 100 uh, coins, that's 100 coins that you can't... That's 100 coins that you can't lose if you die. So you can buy these, and whether you die or not, you'll always have that 100 coins in that light coin purse. You can do that with other coin purses as well. So it's a good way to basically make sure that your sen, you get the most out of your sen, and that if you die, you don't lose whatever sen you put into it. So I, I am actually going to buy that. I'm going to go ahead and buy an antidote powered or two. Cool. Uh, we will want to come back for Robert's Firecrackers. That's a very, very, very useful item. And then we're going to come back over here. Get ourselves a Gaishin Sugar. I forget 100% what that does. And we're going to die here. Because I'm an idiot. I'm going to use up one of my Gourd Charges. Perfect. That's just wonderful. Perfect. Now you may want, may be wondering, why did I come around this way? Uh, so we have this guy right here. He's holding a frickin' cannon. So before we mess with anybody downstairs, it behooves of us to take him out. He's gonna give us some items like black gunpowder. Ooh, and I leveled up even better. Also gonna come over here because I think there's an opportunity to drop some eaves on these fools. Maybe not. If I want, I can come down there and kill that guy too. It's worth the XP to do this, but it's also slightly not. How about? And I'll just go away. That's right. I killed you, and then I took your money. Where'd you go? There were three of you. Where'd, where'd number three go? Did, how, how have I missed this guy? He disappeared. He done did disappear to did did. Where the... How the... What? I could like hear his footsteps. All right, I'm gonna try to take out this guy right here. Oops. Oh, didn't actually mean to do that. I mean, 
granted, I, I, I probably healed up about as much as I could have there. Alright. So now I'm relying on pellets. Okay, definitely want to get over to that shrine over there. So we have our second mini-boss of the game just ahead. We're actually probably not going to take him on just yet because he's a little overpowered for us right now. I am, however, going to kill this giant rooster. And we're going to rest here. <clears throat> now, this mini-boss is the bane of many existences. There are good ways to kind of get him down, but it's it's not easy because it, it it really is not easy. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to come over here, get some spirit runes. See a really weird cutscene. We're also going to run over here, find another merchant. あ、なるほど。覚えてねえと。うん。そこありがて。He does actually sell some good things. ああ、もちろんでさ。あの世、あしらは平田の屋敷に押し入りやした。平田はご存知の通り、足名の文家。真剣な野党なんざ、普通は帰り討ちですが。けど、先だっての戦の折りだ。若い侍はほとんど出払
ったな。私も変わってしまったな So, as they said,、uh, the big guy over here fears fire. Oops. Now, there are a few ways to deal with this guy. Probably the best one is to try to sneak around him and do a death blow. That said,、eh, we're not going to deal with him yet. I'm going to show you guys the.、Uh, The easier strat to beat him.、Uh, well, the easier strat than the one I already just said, which is. Which, in order to do that, we need to go back to the dilapidated temple. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to unlock a new area. Using the bell that we got from the old lady. See, this game is already really convoluted. So, we're gonna bring that bell, we're gonna take it to this Buddha statue. So、we're gonna close our eyes, do the unchristian thing, and pray to Buddha. And in so doing, and here we go. Oh my god, it's the past! We're back in the past! Alright, first things first, obviously, take the sculptor's idol that we're gonna run over here. Get ourselves a medicinal pellet. And here we are, the Harata estate. Now, this was the event that the merchant was talking about. Also, the event that everybody keeps telling us that we forgot.、Uh, this little section is going to explain, in gameplay form, why we ended up in a well at the beginning of the game. Fistful of ash. I'm gonna run back here and just see if there's any items I'm missing. Doesn't appear to be so. It really is nice to just be able to run around. Alright, l so how do I want to do this? We definitely want to sneak behind these guys. Hopefully, I make this look good and not stupid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dousing powder. So, if you're ever on fire, use a dousing powder. That'll clear things right up. Make you right as rain ish, you know. 
Now, before we kill this other guy, we're actually going to come down here. We're going to kill this fish and take its scales. So these fish are very similar to like the, uh, uh, to the, uh, Titanite lizards in Dark Souls. Whereas uh, if you get them, they'll give you, if you kill them, they'll give you interesting items. Uh, if you fail to kill them, then they will, uh, they will disappear and you'll have to reload the area to try again. <clears throat> this guy's going to tell us all about the carp scales. <clears throat> Handsomely. So I can buy different items with grass, for example, or sorry, scales, for example, I can get the divine uh, grass, I can get a withered red gourd, uh, which will reduce red burn uh, buildup. I can get a mask fragment, those come in handy later on, and a floating passage text, which will give me a special combat art. For now, we're not going to do anything. Now, you may or may not see that there is a doggy in here. Doggies are actually pretty easy to kill. Oh, unless you miss the shot. Come on, doggy. I'll just shove a sword through his big stupid throat. Get some more dowsing powder, that's fine. He doesn't need a throat. I'll also jump up here, grab this. Mibu Possession Balloon. Come up here, get ourselves a light point. Point. Coin purse. Hooray, we need that. And I'm going to come around here. I'm going to be stealthy for a minute. Let's see, because I'm pretty sure there's some guys up here and maybe a few more dogs also. Like I said, dogs, not tough. Just got to hit them with a shuriken. What? Okay, I guess I can't grab that one. Because reasons. Maybe I can just... Perfect. Just jump my way up there. Whoopsies! This is a pretty good place, actually, to farm levels. Whoop, okay. I guess, uh, I guess I can't go up that way. Alright, let's see here. Alright, oil, that's very similar to other oil items in Bloodborne. You douse somebody in oil and then you light them on fire. They're in considerable pain, take a lot of burn damage. Anyway, I'm going to activate this for real now. I'm going to rest to get my health back. And we're going to come over here couple reasons why we want to do that. We can get some more spirit emblems. We can also sneak around some fools. Get an Ungo's Sugar. So this will temporarily reduce vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Uh, by temporarily, it means like 12 seconds. It's not... 
I don't know. It, it, it's really useful in, like, really short spans. Oop. Oh, he's about to spot me. You don't see anything. Everything is just fine. Stupid, sleepy bandit man. All right. Easy does it. So as you can see, these guys are mostly pretty easy as long as you get the first blow in. If you don't, they can mess you up just a little bit. Alright, gotta be careful here. Unlike with most stealth games, I think I went over this in the last video, but I'll go over it again. Uh, there isn't a way to tag enemies so you can see them. The best way to figure out who's where and when is to just kind of go in balls ball swinging and just hack people to bits and learn more and more about the area. Like you do with most Souls games. Let's see, how easy is it going to be to sneak around these fools? If I were to be a betting man, not that easy. Let's see, I think there's four people in here. Yep, there's a guy back there, I think. I thought I just saw him. Also be careful, that man has an axe. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, don't be afraid to run away, I might add. That guy also has an axe, so there are two axe people I need to be careful of. Let's see. I don't think there's anything up here. That's a good way to look around, I guess. Yeah, don't be daunted if you look really, really bad at this game when you start playing. Everybody looks bad at this game when they start playing. This this game is very, very, very unique. Not at all like any other From Software games. Let's see. That said, if you want, you can just bypass this entire thing. That's not really what I want to do. What I really want to do is take out the axe guy. If I take him out, the other two are going to be pretty easy. So, of course, I need to be a little bit careful. Hopefully, I can just jump down and get him. Ah, Fred Sickles. All right, well, we'll call that 90% successful. <sighs> Frickin' hell. The little pad thing on my controller fell off again. Excuse me while I try to wrestle this thing back on. <sighs> there we go. So that's a good way to do it. Like I said, you always want to be the first one to attack against the swords, guys. Especially if they're like, oh, I'm going to hit you in the face with a torch. Yeah, don't let them hit you in the face with a torch. It's it's not good for your health. Aha. This area, you really got to be careful. All right, now, that fire is where we want to go. Because that is where you can find the item that's going to help us out in this section. Wow, okay. Oh, th there's a guy with a bow. Okay, and he spotted me instantly. Oh. 
Where's the other puppy bear? Yeah, see, now these guys are going to start throwing uh, oil urns at me. I wonder if I can get an execution on the puppy if I just drop down on him. Probably. Oh yeah, definitely. Sorry, puppy. Dude was a bit drunk. Probably shouldn't be drunk while you're, uh... While you're attacking an estate. Whoops! Not quite what I wanted there. That's okay. I'm just gonna do the, the cowardly thing and just hide from him. Fudsicles. Alright, hopefully I can just have this one guy come get me. Got a little jealous, or not jealous, greedy. Got a little greedy there. <laughs> Bad dog. Hmm. Actually, while he's doing that, I wonder if I can just sort of run around him. I believe so. Cool. Please tell me you stay there. Thank you! Sweet, level three. Let's go. So I can get a medicinal pellet and another Mibu ball of wealth. Balloon of wealth, excuse me. I need to be more precise with my language. Let's see. I'm gonna check all the houses. There might be some loot in here. That said, it looks like the thieves uh, stole things pretty, or were pretty, uh, how you say, uh, thorough with how they stole things. Forgot you were there. Well done, sir. We're gonna go talk to this guy. I think this is the same guy we talked to earlier. Or no, it's not. Someone else. Way to interrupt. The man was having a really peaceful dying moment, and you just came around and were like, well, I don't care. I'm going to murder you. Yeah, how dare you, also. Oh. <clears throat> 
おとなしく投稿しないと痛い目見るぞ聞こえてんのかああ Oh, no. Okay, I can grab this ledge. All right, so if there's like little white edges on the edge, or little, little white whatevers on the edge, then that means that you can totally. peacefully murder them. I, I say peacefully as in like. You know, they died quietly. She's right, you're, you're really not in any condition. Oop. Okay, I guess I'm going this way now. Also, if I so desire, I can run over here and, first of all, get a Gokan's Sugar. It's, this will reduce your posture damage taken for a time, and by that time I mean like 30 seconds. Like I said, these aren't super useful, at least not for me. You have to really know like what kind of damage you're in for. And I, I normally don't have the patience for that. How did you platinum the game then? Well, okay, shut up. Um, you ask all the worst questions. All right, cool. More giant chickens. Man, okay. Um, you're pr there's probably nobody uh, watching this who's from Japan, but do, do roosters actually grow this big? I'm finding out for a friend. Hey, I know there is another rooster back here. No point hiding. You're only saving yourself from the axe for like an extra two seconds. I'm hungry, I need my chicken meat. Oh my. There are two roosters. You're not normally uh, rewarded for R1 spamming in this game, but the roosters, they're not that tough. Granted, like everything in the game, if they hit you, it still packs a wallop. Yeah, I'll take another medicinal pellet, actually. I'll use a medicinal pellet, because I'd rather use that than my healing gourd. So as you can see, the medicinal pellets, they give you, like, short, a small amount of health regen. That said, it's really only useful if you're not getting hit repeatedly. So use wisely. Oh, wow. That really doesn't give you a lot. I'm going to drop a little more eaves. Yeah, so good. Well, that's good. Like, you know, religiously speaking. Although, they won't steal from this. We totally will. So we can get the Shinobi Axe of the Monkey! Also, there might be another person in here. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, get another light coin purse. We probably have enough for Robert's Firecrackers now. Those will come especially handy in certain fights, especially if you're fighting an animal boss. Which, I guess, is a spoiler that there are, in fact, animal bosses in this game. Oh, uh, some light ragdoll effects there. 
Uh, actually, we don't want to go any further until I've leveled up. Because we need the Makiri counter. So we're going to run back over here. I'm going to rest at this idol. Uh, actually, first... Ah. I don't actually have any way to upgrade my abilities. Maybe there's something I can find here. Yeah, the guys with the shields, best way to beat them is to use the axe. Uh, I don't actually currently have the axe. Actually, yeah, I'm going to go back. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the dilapidated temple. Sheath my weapon. We're gonna talk to this dude. Nondo, Omae sa, kan ga modotte kita yo jana. Chitto wa shinobi rashiku natte kita yo ni mieru. Totte okina. He's gonna give me the shinobi esoteric texts. Kore wo shinobi no waza je. I forgot that was going to happen. This was 100% accidental. <laughs> Alright, so that's actually going to give us the ability to level up. Oh, right, I still need to talk to him. Hey, that's the wrong button. Alright, I'm going to present the Shinobi prosthetic. And he's going to create the uh, loaded axe and the flame vent. これを取っておきな。これを。お前さんの牙でどうそれが書いてある。要は忍び騎士を使った戦いの術じゃな。わかった。全く。義手の忍び技などもはや無用と思っておったが、わからんものよな。<clears throat> cool, so now I have two things I can use to level up. So now I can acquire skills. For example, I can acquire the World Run Slash. However, the one that's going to come the most handy that you absolutely need to get first is the Makiri Counter. This makes it so that if somebody tries to do a thrust attack on you, which is a red unblockable attack, you have a way to beat them using the Makiri counter. It is super duper useful. Use it. Use it. I can also do the whirlwind slash, the chasing slash, or the grappling hook attack. Uh, actually, grappling hook attack is going to be pretty useful too, so I'm going to do that and the Makiri counter. And then once you get to new areas, uh, or once you uh, unlock new skills, you then can show the next, uh, what you can get for the next few skill areas. For example, I can get the midair deflection, uh, the run and slide, or the suppress presence, which will reduce the enemy's ability to perceive those who are in stealth, i.e. myself. And we're going to go back to the estate. <clears throat> now, 
since we have that shortcut open, this should be a little bit easier. We now do not, in fact, have to fight any of these fools, save for the one guy who's camping in the corner. Yeah, we see you this time. Oh, whoops. Okay, all things considered, that actually went pretty well. Oh, shoot, I forgot to equip the prosthetics. All right, well, I can do that without reloading the area. I think what I want to do next, I want to show you guys what to do with the Makiri counter. So let's go over here. Or no, do I not do that from the... Okay. I do that from here. Wow. Super brilliant. All right, now I have the loaded axe equipped. This is going to come in super duper handy against the shield, guys. I already dropped eaves on these guys. This is going to make him come to me. How did he hit me? So you can beat those guys using Dark Souls rules. It's very possible. I don't think I actually went in here. So I'll get some antidote powder from her. It will be of help. Uh, the there is a uh, there is a mini boss at the very end of the road who likes to use poison damage to his or to very very good great effect. Good good great effect. Great more more gooder effect. Effect Leas? Yes. Yes, that's the, those are the words. Alright, here's our merchant. あんたも火事場泥棒ですかい旦那は見たとこ忍びですかね何か探し物でもまあ何にせよ予想はあさってくださいああどっかの崖上に三重の塔が見えやしたぜあんだけご立派な塔だきっと中にはお宝が足なら
Yeah, there's no way you're running fast with that thing. Goodbye. Now I gotta be super careful here. And I'm not being careful. What? No! Why? How did that? How did that happen? I did not push the button! I totally did not push the button. To heal. That button was not pushed. Where's the shinobi hunter? Oh, crap. Of course it's a... Don't have long. That said, this fight typically doesn't take that long. It's like most mini bosses, you can stealth him and just instantly take out one of his health bars. Ay, ay, ay. Did not time that well. Ah, this is not going well. Not going well at all. There we go. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay. There you go. <laughs> I made that look a lot harder than it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, well, I'm pretty much out of time here. Uh, remember, when you come across that guy, use the Makiri counter. Don't, don't do what I did and just get owned by that guy. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's been a blast. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.